In this video, I'm going to go over parabolic PDEs and how to reduce them to canonical form. So given uh, this PDE, uh, we're going to use the form that A equal to UXX plus B UXY plus C uh, UYY, sorry, plus D uh, U, sorry, UX plus uh, E UY plus F U plus G, and obviously G in this case is zero. So um, to first classify uh, if it's parabolic, hyperbolic, or elliptic, we're going to check the discriminant, and if it's equal to zero, then it's parabolic. So to do that, we're going to use the uh, discriminant is equal to b squared minus four ac. Now using this, in this case, we've got a is equal to four, b is equal to uxy, which is uh, twelve, and c is equal to uh, uh, nine. Sorry. Now, always when you get your question, double check that they are definitely in this form because they could be swapped around. Um, so just double check they are in, in the correct values. So let's work out discriminant. So we've got uh, 12 squared minus 4 uh, times 4 times 9. And this is 144, and this is also 144. So indeed, it is parabolic. So next, we need to consider the characteristic equations. So to do that we take dy of a dx of um, b plus or minus our discriminant over 2a. Now we've got that b in this case was 12, Oops, 12 plus or minus discriminant which is 0 so that doesn't matter, over 2a which is 8. Oops. So we can write uh, that, now this is reduced down to 3 over 2 so we can write dy dx equals 3 over 2. Now simple integration, we get that dy is 3 over 2 dx, so that y is equal to 3 over 2 x plus some constant. I'm going to time this by 2, uh, so we get 3x plus c tilde, and solving for c tilde, uh, we get 2y minus 3x. And now what we're going to do is we're going to let a change of variables happen. So this is going to be our epsilon. So we're going to get epsilon equals to 2y minus 3x. And then we also need to introduce a term for the, um, eta. Now this can be anything you like. So I'm going to make it a simple term of uh, eta equals to x. Now we need to then consider the product rule. And to do that we need to check the um, derivative of each of these with respect or of epsilon with respect to x, epsilon with respect to y, and eta with respect to x, eta with respect to y. So we're going to first consider um, epsilon with respect to x, which is just minus 3. So we're going to take the derivative of um, x, which is, in this case is minus uh, 3. Um, epsilon with respect to y, which is 2. Uh, epsilon xx, which is just the derivative of this, which is 0. Uh, same goes for epsilon yy, which is again 0. Uh, now we need to do it with eta, so eta x, derivative of this, which is just 1. Uh, eta xx, derivative of this, which is 0. And then obviously there's no terms of y, so we just get that um, it's uh, 0 for both cases. Now, uh, we're going to consider the chain rule now. However, if you look at the question, we have no terms for u of x. We have just u of xx, so they're um, double derivatives. So, we're going to use um, straight from a formula that uh, u of xx is simply equal to um, epsilon uh, x squared uh, u epsilon epsilon plus 2 epsilon x times u eta epsilon uh, plus eta squared x uh, u eta eta so it ends eta eta uh, plus epsilon xx uh, which is u epsilon, and the final form is um, eta xx uh, u eta. Now, if you don't know them, you can either just learn them or derive them from the fact that the um, from the standard chain rule of a single case. Uh, and then we're going to get that. Uh, actually, no, we'll solve for this one first. So we've got that u xx is equal to epsilon x squared, which in I'm going to put a red around this just so we can stand out. There we go. So, um, turn it back to uh, black. So, um, epsilon x squared, which is uh, minus 3 squared, u epsilon epsilon, plus uh, 2x, which is times 2, u of x, which is minus 3, u, uh, sorry, eta x, 
Oh uh, yeah, the mistake. This should be here. This should be uh, eta y as well. Sorry, eta x, not because they're doing y. So we get that uh, uh, eta x, which is one. It wouldn't really matter anyway, actually. But um, u of eta epsilon plus a, uh, eta square, eta x squared, which is one times u of eta eta, which is just u of eta eta. Plus um, u uh, so epsilon of x x, which is zero, and uh, eta x x, which again is zero. So we have that uh, u of x x equal to nine u epsilon epsilon uh, minus six u eta epsilon plus u eta eta. So now we have our case for uh, u of x x. So now next is our I think it's u of x y from from this so our u of x y i'm going to straight away just put the formula down we're not going to drive it in uh, this video so we get that u of x y is equal to epsilon x ooh, epsilon x times epsilon y uh u of epsilon epsilon plus um epsilon x eta y plus epsilon y eta x uh, u eta epsilon uh, plus uh, eta x eta y uh, u eta eta plus epsilon of x y uh, u of epsilon plus eta x y times uh, u of eta. Now plugging in what we have above, so uh, epsilon x which is minus 3 times uh, epsilon of y, which is 2, uh, uh, u of epsilon epsilon, plus, now, uh, I think a lot of these are going to be 0, so we've got epsilon x, which is minus 3, uh, which is minus 3 here, uh, and then eta of, sorry, yeah, eta of y, which we've got 0, so that just becomes 0, uh, epsilon of y, which is here, 2, times um, eta of x, which is 1, so we have the overall, it's 2, it's 2 times 1 times this. So we've got 2u eta epsilon plus uh, nx times ny, but we know that uh, ny is 0, so this, this whole equation becomes 0, or this whole uh, part becomes 0. Uh, uxy is going to be 0 because of minus 3 and 2, so it's going to be 0 of this. And then we've got that nxy is also going to become 0. And so we have that the uh, uxy part is just uh, that I'm going to actually sorry I'm going to just make that a bit neater so we've got uxy is equal to minus 6 u of epsilon epsilon plus 2 u uh, eta epsilon and I'm going to make that uh, red and final, finally we've got we need to find that u of y y now this is uh, you can e either just substitute uh, whatever x is to a y for this, or we can just uh, derive it from the original, but we're going to write that u of y y is simply equal to epsilon squared y times uh, u of epsilon epsilon plus 2 epsilon y times uh, eta y times u of uh, eta epsilon plus eta squared y uh, u of eta eta uh, plus epsilon y y times u of epsilon plus uh, eta y y finally times by u of eta. I'm plugging this in from the above. We've got first of all that um, epsilon y squared. Epsilon y squared is just 2. So we have that this is 4 uh, u of epsilon epsilon plus uh, e, sorry, epsilon y times uh, eta y. So where are we? Epsilon y is two, uh, 2, eta y uh, eta y is 0, so that becomes 0. Uh, next we have uh, ny, and ny is 0. That is 0, and that is 0, so we simply get that u of yy is uh, just uh, 4, I'm sorry, but that's the red, it's just 4 uh, u epsilon epsilon. Now, 
we've got all our terms, so we can just plug in the original equation, plug into the original equation. So we're going to copy, copy that, bring it down here. I'm going to get rid of all these pencil marks. And then uh, the first term, we've got 4 of uxx. Now, uxx is, uh, I've got to copy this in. Paste that in there, it's going to make it a lot easier to instead of writing it again. Uh, and then plus 12 of uxy. And then where's our uxy? It's here. So I just literally just copy them. Place that in there. Get that. And then we have it 9 uyy. I was going to write because there's no point copying it. u epsilon epsilon plus 9 u like that. And then just expanding this all out, we get uh, 36 u epsilon epsilon plus 24 u eta epsilon plus 4 u uh, eta eta minus 72 u epsilon epsilon plus 24 u eta epsilon plus 36 uh, u epsilon epsilon. Oh, right, yep. Plus uh, 9u equals 0. Now, uh, cancelling out here, we can say that uh, that plus that is just that, and then that plus that is just cancelled. So we have the final solution as 4u uh, eta eta plus 9u equals 0, and then so we get that u eta eta plus 9 over 4u is equal to 0. And that is finally our canonical form reduced. And for this equation. Now, we've gone to the next one. We've got that. Now, this is a bit of a different case because we've got a factor of y and we've got a factor of 4y, but that doesn't really matter for this part. So, using the same before, a u x x plus b u x y plus c u y y plus other terms, and in this case, we've got 0. So, discriminant, we check it definitely equal to 0 for the parabolic case. So we've got b squared minus 4ac, and b in this case is, we're going to write it up here, we've got a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0, so there's no case of uxy in this equation, and we've got that c is equal to uyy, which is just simply 4, sorry, y. So ooh, we've got b squared is 0 minus 4a. C. Now, so we've got 4y. We need this to equal 0 in order to be parabolic, so this clearly depends on y. So, uh, the discriminant is equal to 0 um, if and only if y is also equal to 0, thus parabolic. So this is a question we're going to consider for every um, canonical form video we're going to do in terms of um, elliptic, parabolic and hyperbolic. Obviously in this case we're carrying out the parabolic case. So this this equation clearly depends on what y is in order to, uh, to classify if it's going to be um, parabolic, hyperbolic or elliptic. So to check the characteristic equation, we have dy of dx and this is going to be uh, b plus or minus the discriminant, the square root of discriminant over 2a. And now this is equals 0 plus or minus 0 over, uh, I think it's just, just 2. Um, since this is 0, we can say that this equation is unclassified since there are no characteristic, um, sorry, character um, characteristic equations and then that is all you need to do.